Only in God, Melchizedek Lisbeth, you will find the peace that is permanent. Your salvation and your hope comes only from us. And those who are obedient to me will live in peace and in rest and will not fear any evil. They will rest assured that the Almighty God will always be with them simply because they have listened well to the details and do everything I tell them. God not only gives you the will to do something, but also shows you how to do it. And if you want peace in your house, at work, in your school, or wherever you are, you have to sow for that. Start to analyze your surroundings well. And if you see that something always happens to you which takes you out of your rest, it means that you're on the wrong path. Look at what it says in Proverbs 14, 12. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. When you are constantly going through unpleasant situations, it's because in your mind you already began judging incorrectly. And instead of asking and trusting in Melchizedek Lisbeth before anything, you have preconceived the outcome. And what you have done is damaged something that might have gone well for you. Stop seeing things with carnal eyes because they will take away your reign over all things. Every time you think someone has done something wrong to you or has hurt you, do not react or let it affect you. Ask for that person so that God sees that you are a peacemaker and not someone who is arrogant and who fights for everything. I tell you the truth, your human strength will lead you to death. Christ says, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight so that I would not be delivered to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from here. It is not of the carnal mind. To those who have the ear to listen to what the Holy Spirit of God says, I say to you, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who slander you. Be merciful just as your spiritual parents are merciful. In other words, I do not need bullies who want to fight in my kingdom, but rather peacemakers, because what this world needs is the peace of God so that it does not destroy itself anymore and for people to stop dying. Stop fighting with yourself and with others. Love yourself, because by loving yourself, you are loving me, the one who came to make you a child according to my image and likeness. Do not hate others because you are going to end up badly. You think you're on the right path, but it's your own destruction in the mind which has made you think that the path you are taking is good. That is where the wide door and the spacious road that leads to perdition is, and many are those who enter through that road. Those are the many who do not listen well to the details, because my word work for everyone, but it is stiff-necked men who do not let themselves be guided. It is difficult for them to be humble and kind. But those who faithfully follow me have entered through the narrow door, which is the way that leads to life, and only a few can find it. Strive to be one of those faithful ones. I know you can do it. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah.